In this video, I'm replacing a solar edge inverter that is broken. I'm gonna walk you through my process and point out some tips. This is a helpful video if you're about ready to do one of these installations. I'm assuming that you've already contacted tech support and then received the replacement inverter. The first thing you want to do is turn the system off. Push the toggle over and wait until you get a green light. That'll bleed the capacitors. Then you wanna turn the DC uh, disconnect off and then flip the breaker. Once you have that done, verify that you have no voltage and then you can start disconnecting all the wires. These are like the push-in terminal blocks, so you'll need kind of a thin flathead screwdriver that you insert and then the wire pulls out. There are a couple screws on the top or side and then one on the bottom that take off everything and then grab your new bracket. So this new bracket, like I was saying, sits a little bit lower and it's different than the old ones. So I like to fasten the new bracket to the inverter, mark where it's at, and then hold it up so the conduit is landing where it's supposed to, make my marks, and then I'll caulk the old holes and then place that bracket up, level it, fasten it, and then you can go ahead and set your new inverter back up there. Before you do, make sure that you drill the holes and make sure that those holes are the right size and they match where those conduit runs are. You can feed your conductors back through, replace any parts that were missing uh, from the old one to get it up to code, and then you know grounding and then land all of your conductors um and uh, another thing make sure to check the length on these i from a lot a lot of these inverters they will have that wire strip back too far that will arc um you want to make sure to get your screws back in and then the communications whether it's a cell cut or ethernet solar edge does want that inverter back in the box and shipped to them Open up Setup on your phone. It's going to load the latest software. You'll toggle over the inverter to emit the Wi-Fi, connect to it. And the first thing you want to do is you actually want to go into pairing. Once it loaded the software and the DSP1, DSP2, click pairing, click continue, and wait. It's going to do pairing and it's going to do grid monitoring. And this is probably going to take 10 minutes after it just took 10 minutes to do the software update. But once that's done, you wanna make sure you have the SOK, you wanna make sure that all the optimizers have been found, and you wanna make sure that you're producing power. Once all those things are done, I like to take a screenshot of that, and then you're good to leave the job site. I hope this was some helpful tips. Um, thank you for watching my video on this channel. Uh, please subscribe right here, and then I will have some other videos and playlists here that may be helpful as well.